As a sign of good faith, we wish to offer you this. I told you I don't want your money. The suitcase isn't filled with 50s or gold or diamonds. Just silicon. A Ming Mecca chip. Ming Mecca? They're not even declassified yet. You're right. So I was looking at ways that um, I could make my computer a little more effective for doing like um, animation, video, and other things. And um, I was kind of split by the idea of getting um, a new CPU or a new GPU. And I heard that um, GPUs are um, probably the better way to make three-dimensional animation. Trouble is, if you just use a GPU, then anything having to do with a CPU, like using your computer normally, um, would be slow still. So um, my board didn't originally take the Ryzen 5000 series, and that's what you can get at the store right now. So I was a little bit, um, I looked like I had to get like another motherboard. But what happened was a, um, AMD decided to, um, to update all the BIOSes so that you can um, run these 5000 chips. So I was looking around at the hardware I had, and I realized that uh, I'd have to change a lot of things or the PSU if I had the new, um, you know, one of those RTX cards. So looking at what I had, I realized that uh, if I just got the CPU um, with an additional 40 watts off the power supply, which is probably within its parameters, I didn't have to change any other thing in my computer. And when the CPU um, continued to lower in cost at the store, I became immediately interested. And my power supply, it has um, it's known to have two branches, and it's important to try to balance uh, the stuff on the two branches, uh, the GPU connectors there. One of them has a striped uh, line, and I try to uh, put the striped line one uh, opposite the uh, the power connector for the CPU. So I went out in theory to solve these problems with this, um, you know, about five hundred dollar after tax um, CPU since it was on sale, and I managed to um, invoke cer other certain coupons and whatnot. I didn't know I was going to be able to use at the store, and got it down to um, four thirty nine, where it was originally. Uh, 499 and then uh, originally 700 and I was told that uh, other people had purchased it for 700 before me so I um, took out the, um, the the first CPU cleaned everything off and um, put back the the new CPU and um, uh, I had purchased this um, better than the original um, heat sink kind of cooling solution but um, I was a little concerned with it. It's a little bit on the cheap side, and uh, it had these LEDs that um, were supposed to go on, and one of them's gone out, and I was looking very closely, and I didn't like the solder connection. So I tried to fix up any possible solder connections, which I really shouldn't have to do, but um, I didn't want the computer to short out and be in any way dangerous, so um, I carefully uh, fixed those connections. Okay, I think uh, I did my very best to put this in properly. I would really appreciate it if it turned on right now. Oh, I have turned the power off. Main power. Main power. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we gotta be.
Well, um, I think it's working. Okay. Um, I guess the impression that I didn't put the most in, so you have to put most in. So you must put the most in. Let's not put the house most in the main hub. No, let's actually do that because I don't feel like changing it. So I think this is the main hub. Here we go. Do we have a mouse? Yes. Hi. Advanced. CPU. 12 core. Yeah. So far so good. So I just wanted to get a feeling that um, it was um, stable before like releasing it onto the OS. If I had any major corruption issues, it would have been here. Um, some of my memory was kind of on the slower speed, the uh, being 2400 memory with uh, pretty good cast latencies. So um, what I did is I entered those timings in and um, still the CPU in the end um, gets really hot even with memory I have. So. If that's going to be a limiting factor, I don't think it really matters. So um, I think I'm satisfied. So what I found was that um, the the CPU would become you know pretty hot um, pretty quickly, and it's I guess the trade off between um, how cool you want it to make it and how good the performance is. And I have to find the point at which I'm not losing uh, performance because it's getting too hot. But what you can do. And what it does itself, um, I think, is it uh, basically starts shutting itself down when it reaches a certain temperature. So it's never going to self-destruct. I don't really know that. But I was getting up to 86, and really 90 is what it says its maximum operating. 90 is what its maximum operating uh, temperature uh, is supposed to be. So I don't know if it's going to go further. But I got afraid, and I terminated it. So I went back and uh, there was a place um, that said like platform thermal limit or something is uh, 78. I think 78 is about as high as I want to go. So um, what happens is every time it hits 78, it just uh, starts shutting down. What I know has been a problem in the past is um, the GPU render is not necessarily the same as the, the CPU render. And what has been um, a factor in the past is this, this thing about... Um, atmosphere particles that create this sort of, um, they call it God ray effect, but basically it's, it's these lines in uh, an atmosphere caused by particles, and you don't really get that with a GPU renter. I've never tried the RTX one, but um, so I, I was concerned about uh, you know going for a pure uh, GPU, uh, GPU solution. So this particular experiment is using the cycles renderer and using a combined CPU, GPU, um, product and this is basically one of the basically f um, fastest results I could uh, produce. So this is an experiment of the fastest results that I could get from the system and I, I guess I'd have to compare it to the way it was before which I haven't really done. So with this style of doing this um, there's usually one that's going one little block that's moving along very quickly which is actually the graphic card. And there's another set of blocks which represent all the HT cores of the CPU and tend to you know drag behind, but, but together, um, they're probably 50-50 in this case. The GPU tends to be a little bit of a fast performer in this uh, style of uh, doing things. So here's that uh, final image that I just uh, threw together um, to see uh, what the performance could be. So I'm using the new CPU to uh, render this, uh, this video segment, so I'm not gonna include the totals. Or I might may in a the um, a description in the video. I could do that. Thank you.